everybody welcome to my new video and welcome back to my kitchen which is super messy and I hope you cannot see too much of it in the background so today I decided to do another baking video for you because I want to share my favorite a Christmas baking recipe with you all so that is what I'm going to do today I'm going to make my favorite snowflake Christmas biscuits so to start with I'm going to show you all the ingredients you're going to need so first of all you're going to need 125 grams of butter um, it's better if it's like a room temperature then it's just easier to combine the ingredients second you're going to need 50 grams of icing sugar also half a vanilla bean which I have in this little glass like packaging so half of this vanilla bean then you're going to need 200 no what I'm saying then you're going to need 100 grams of starch and for last but not least 75 grams of flour I use um, spelt flour just because it's healthier and my system um, works better with it it's just the wheat I don't know my stomach just cannot work with wheat so I'm using spelt flour which is just as good you can use any flour you have just make sure that it's not like a whole um, I don't know how you call it I will write it down here how it is called what you should not use like a whole corn flour you know so you can use any flour you want I'm using uh, spelt flour and that is actually already everything you're going to need for this recipe so it's really really easy and quick to make and I love it you need one big bowl just to combine all the ingredients and um, then you can get started unfortunately I don't have a KitchenAid or anything like um, a KitchenAid so I'm going to make everything with this little guy or with just a wooden spoon so the first thing you're going to want to do is um, take your um, vanilla bean, cut it in half and get um, the insides out, kind of. It can be a little bit tricky to get this out, um, so be careful and mind your fingers. going to do now is um, combine the butter and sugar and the insides of the vanilla um, until they are well combined. Alright this is how it looks now you can see I switched a bowl because the one I had first was just not working. So once it looks like this it's just perfectly combined you just um, add the mixture between the starch and the flour and once that is um, just added in small steps just kind of um, one tablespoon at a time and then you just add like one tablespoon at a time that way it is just easier to get uh, no clumps or um, yeah it's just easier to combine those uh, mixtures <laughs> this is basically the dough done it's everything you have to do just mix butter vanilla bean and sugar together and then you just have to mix the flour and the starch and add this mixture to the first mixture and that is everything done the dough is now pretty crumbly but that is completely normal it's just how it is you just need uh, wash your hands and then you just combine the dough together to like um, one like all just like every dough basically looks and then you have a bowl like that start right away with the next step so the next step with this little bowl now will be just to um, take the ball and cut a little part off so I take a knife and just cut like a third of it off um, the ball 
and then you just start making like quarters of that make a ball and then you make like a sausage out of it like that about that size and then you cut um, little pieces equally sized and then you start by with forming like little um, balls they don't have to be perfectly round or anything just about like Okay, um, once you have um, uh, formed your little ball thingies, you can put them on your baking tray, which I have set um, uh, here on the side. Um, if you have done everything right, then you can place them pretty close together. They will get a little bit bigger, but not too much, so you don't have to worry about that. And now you repeat that step just cut a thing off, make a little sausage, cut equally sized pieces, make little balls and put them on the tray. So that is how my tray looks now. So now what you, the next step what you're going to want to do is take a, a fork and um, put a little bit of flour on it and then you just start, I will start in here pressing that down into the little ball so that you have about that shape so they should look something like that and that you're going to repeat just with any any single one of these little balls that is actually um already everything done and that way you just put it in the oven for about 10 minutes um, check them if they are that small check them after eight minutes uh, the first time and uh, then you can see if they're already done they don't have to get any like golden brown like top or anything they just stay very pale and that's everything basically what you have to do so I'm just waiting now for my oven to preheat um, completely. It's now on 142 degrees and we need 180. And then I will put the little tray in the oven and set my timer for 8 minutes and then I will see if they're done. If not, I will give them 2 more minutes. Um, whilst those um, little guys are waiting to go in the oven or whilst they are in the oven, you can um, just go on with the dough you have left just repeat all the steps cut like a quarter of it off you don't have to do but I'm just doing it because then you have like a feeling for the amount of dough you have then you have one of them I just make another little ball and then I take a little thing off of that off just like I've shown you make kind of a sausage uh, dough sausage and then you cut little pieces make balls and use your fork and they go in the oven um, it's just as simple as it is and that is why I wanted to share this recipe with you everything I'm going to do now is just to repeat repeat the steps I've just shown you over and over again until all the dough is gone and then as the one last step I will show you once I'm done
and that is already everything you're going to have to do so it's really easy really quick and just perfect and they are so delicious so these are my favorite Christmas cookies to make actually I always make them the first time of the year when it snows after Christmas so um, in December unfortunately it, it, there was no snow where I live so far but I just couldn't wait anymore and you have seen in uh, some of my vlogs of the past days there have actually been days where it looked like snow uh, was everywhere so I just decided to um, just that's that's good enough for me <laughs> so basically I just couldn't wait anymore to um, make these cookies and yes so I did them now and they look so nice and they're so delicious and I just can't wait to taste one. I will actually do that now. They're still warm. Mm -hmm. Really good. I really hope that you liked this little video. It was really just a little one. Um, but Christmassy, if you recreate this recipe, don't forget to send me pictures on any like social media platform. Just link me in the picture and let me know how they turn out. And if you like them just as much as I do, they're really sweet, but it's Christmas and that is everything you want around Christmas, isn't it? So I hope that you liked it and I will see you in my next video, which will be next week. Until then, I hope you all are very well and that you have a wonderful time. And I'll see you next week. Take care. Bye.